He's off leash at the park for the very first time. He's doing so good. Get it. Get by. It's all sandy. We can go to the beach with him. Follow the beach. Yeah. Run, run, run. And he dropped it. He can't find it in the sand. Good boy. That's what we can patches. He doesn't have to bring it back to me. He just wants to run with it. Get it. Yeah. He brings it back when he's ready. Get it. Oh, it's buried. It's buried under the sand. Get it. He's like, I'm not sure about that sand on it. We've never had a sandy ball before. Ready? Oh, we got it. Ready, Patches? He's doing really good at the beach. Done every recall. He almost got stuck in the ocean because there was a big hole, but I saved him. Go get it. Oh, and he lost his ball. <laughs> He's still learning the ropes of being off leash at the beach. Why is it over there? I threw it. Go find it. <laughs> You're so silly. You lost it. <laughs> And this is an emergency. They tried to put shrimp on my salad. They almost ruined it. Why? I don't like seafood at all. So I'm eating a salad. Well, this will probably be a little tiny short vlog because I have cute pictures of patches off leash at the beach for the first time that I want to share. And this is what I'm having for lunch. Delicious. This. Oh, and of course, Dr. Pepper. He's being a good boy. And we have a window seat, by the way, because I never said that in this vlog. It's so pretty. There's the beach. Patches is sleepy from the beach today. So this is gonna end the vlog. I figured I'd end it in the car because why not? This is like the shortest vlog ever, but it was his first time off leash at the park and I have to document it onto YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and everywhere else. So, <laughs> so even though it's just a few short clips, I'm gonna do it. But he did excellent. His recalls were on point. Um, I was actually kind of shocked because I figured as soon as we hit the water, he'd be a puppy brain like he is. He's a puppy brain sometimes. But no, he was really mature, came over time I called, even ignored other dogs, except for one dog he got to play with. Um, so me and his and the other dog's owner said we, they could go play. So I told him to go play, which is his command for that. Um, so yeah, so he did really good. He got to play in the water, except for he went in and then he fell in a hole and then he didn't know how to, like not a big hole. Like it was pretty deep and like I think a rock had moved or something and so he was kind of didn't know how to get out so I went out there and I helped him so he had to like swim over it because that was a pretty deep hole it was kind of scary <laughs> but um it was his first time at the beach so I just went out there and I helped him get back on over to the land and he did fine like it wasn't too deep like I could still be in it it probably went up to like my knees so um so yeah and he's taller than my knees, so it wasn't like over his head or anything. But yeah, so he did good. He came every time I called. He loved his ball on the beach, which is funny because he normally only likes balls if they're other dogs' balls. But he really liked his ball on the beach. Like he was just like ball. That's what we play with on the beach. And so it was cute that he was so into his ball. Um, and then he went in the water and he got around in the sand and he just did really good. I was gonna do some off leash training with him, like you know heel and all that stuff, but. I figured I would just let him be a dog, so I wasn't going to do that, <laughs> but he came every time I called, and he just got to play like a dog. Um, there was a little girl, like, pulling a, not like a surfboard, but like one of those little tiny boards, I don't know what they're called. Huh? Bodyboard. Oh, bodyboard. <laughs> Behind her, and at first he, like, ran over because he thought it was a toy she was dragging, but I told him to leave it, and he did, so that was good. He didn't try and chase it or bite it or anything, but... Um, but he thought for sure it was a toy for him. 
but he ignored it after I said leave it, so that's good. So he did good off leash. He came every time I called, like literally every time. His recalls were on point, um, which I didn't even know if he would be able to hear me because it was a little windy, but he could. He heard me, and I also have a hand signal for it so he can see it too. Um, he alerted too um, because I did want to train a little bit of his alerts, so he did alert and... Yeah, he was just amazing. I was honestly so proud of him. It's hard to believe he's almost three and his maturity is coming out. They say he doodles stay puppies until five, but he's really maturing with every year. <laughs> so, but he also has a lot of off-leash experience at the park I take him to. He's been going to the same park for like a year. And so he has a lot of off-leash experience. So when he was off-leash, it wasn't like too distracting or overstimulating or anything like that because he had already been so used to being off-leash. Um, he's also off-leash a lot when he's working, so he's used to being off-leash, so it wasn't too overstimulating. But I was a little worried it might be a little bit, just because of the water and the people and the dogs and everything, but it wasn't. He did fine. He was calm. He came every time I called. He played with his ball, and he was just amazing. He was amazing at lunch, too, of course, but, um, but yeah, he was just an amazing boy. Now he's sleepy. <laughs> he went to the dog park earlier this morning, too, <sighs> so he's really sleepy tonight um but yeah so that's it for the vlog i'm proud of this boy and i want to document it so even though it's on my cell phone i'm just gonna go with it so please like comment subscribe do all things and i'll see you later bye guys